get out to the beach and to the coast before uh, before work. Just had to do it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there are just uh, there are sand flea, mole crab parts everywhere, which is a good sign. The uh, beach definitely supports uh, a little bit of an ecosystem in the sand, which is food for the fish I'm targeting. So definitely want to make sure you see signs and trace signs of, of bait. Um, naturally occurring bait. That's always a good sign. So, all right. Let's set up and uh, go catch some fish. All right, third or fourth cast in. I'm definitely getting some little bites. Could be rocks. I think they're bites. They're pretty close to shore. We'll see the worm. See if the worm's getting bit. Nope, still intact. Try it again. saw that there was a there was a nibble about 10 feet in front of me like about five feet from when that wave just broke so I'm only gonna cast like 20 feet all the bites are coming like right at my feet damn Again. Not even casting far. Maybe like 25 feet in front of me. Getting getting punked by these little fish. Got one. Finally. Did he give up on me already? Alright, wonder what it is. Probably a little perch. Probably a little silver. Yeah. All right, not too bad. Hey. Hey, not too bad, what do you think? All right, these are the fish that were punking me all morning. About eh, eight, 10 inches, maybe half a pound or something like that. You know, I got a couple in my fridge, so we're gonna pay it back. All right, buddy, go tell your big bros to, to come and find me. Yep. All right, so I knew there was a school of fish in front of me. They were just picking and pecking, and uh, my bait is still on here. So, you know, just don't give up. Keep casting to uh, spots from different angles. That's what I was doing. I was kind of working that uh, same hole uh, from different angles. So I finally got bit. I don't know if that makes sense, but maybe the presentation, uh, you know, that little change in presentation helped. Um, but yeah, fish on in the first 10 minutes here. Probably got 10 missed uh, quick sets. Oh, this worm's done. Oh, and you know, when your worm is all shredded like this, it's just not worth it to keep. Um, I'm gonna change it out and put a fresh one on. Uh, check this out, guys. Um, this is a setup that uh, I started using a while back, but I call it my um, detachable Carolina rig. So normally with the Carolina rig, you have uh, the egg weight on the main line, and if I were to switch out my rigs, I'd have to cut off um, my main line from the leader to uh, release this um, egg weight, but I have it pre-tied on a foot of a leader material with a you know barrel on one side and a quick link on the other, and uh, you really don't need you know that much free line to feel the bite. I mean, you know, a foot is plenty, so why not uh, pre-make your leader line so you can detach it and switch out to a rig, uh, you know, in a snap. Oh, got a good one. Knew it. I knew it. All right, maybe not a maybe not a huge one, but 
<laughs> That's not a good one. But it's still a fish and better than a skunk. Whoop. I got a little excited. It's got a little excited. But hey, it's a fish. Gosh, I've never had as many nibbles of, as I've had um, today. I mean, it's pretty insane. It's definitely a, a cool spot. I'm definitely happy I explored a little bit this morning and uh, came out to try something, some spot new. There's definitely a lot of fish holding here. They're not as huge, but uh, you know, if I was fishing for meat, if I was fishing for quantity, um, and I think if I had a sharper hook uh, and it was a little better prepared, I could definitely limit out in a day's worth of fishing here. Whew. Wow. All right, well, I didn't get the strike, but this uh, walleye, silver, check this little guy out. He hit, oh man, this guy is just, engorging himself on uh, sandworms or uh, sand crabs sorry that are literally five feet in front of me the strike came like five feet in front of me didn't have my gopro on it's kind of zoned out but uh dude come on wow look at this little fat so good job bro get him back in the water yeah bunch of sand crabs at your feet in the uh, receding wave there's gonna be fish and they're not gonna be far out I mean, the food isn't gonna be out there. It's gonna be right here where the waves are breaking. So don't be surprised if you catch something right at your feet like I just did. That was cool. All right, that was a fun day. Fun morning, I should say. Put a couple different uh, species of perch on at a new beach that I'm definitely gonna be visiting again. This is high tide and uh, definitely a lot safer than some of the other beaches that uh, are popular to fish. So, that being said, definitely be here again. Uh, we'll try something different next time. Maybe the stripers will be running in this area. And if so, I'll be here. Maybe I'll catch that striper on the hard bait on film that uh, I've been chasing. So, until next time, guys. See ya. Hmm.